Welcome back to the Full Style Eat Channel for another video. Yes, I'm going to stop coming on here looking busted. Uh, but this is how I look when I'm working. I am fresh back from Jamaica. Like, literally days back. My trip was actually extended a day because the airline played with our feelings. And we got to stay an extra night on them. Um... And so, I didn't get back until Monday after dude, and I slept all day Tuesday. Hold on. Here it is, Wednesday. School year is wrapping up. Uh, so, I am not feeling well. I'm not feeling well, y'all. I'm not feeling well. I started my period my last two days there. I think I, would have, I have a wisdom tooth trying to kick it. And I've been having some sinus pressure since uh, uh, Sunday night. So not feeling the best. I just had to go like take all the drugs I own and have some tummy time. Because of whatever's happening. It, it, it was trying to take me out. I was nauseous. I couldn't finish my breakfast. But y'all not here for that. We are back in the workspace. We are back to work. I have a huge, another huge commission. And this one is with one of my sissies, one of my spiritual sisters, and um, she's a chef of uh, a fashionable, like a fashionable chef, and she wants a custom, custom shelf jacket. And we went shopping the week before I went to Jamaica. We got her fabric. I've already sat down and sketched up my design. I'm actually going to re-sketch that so that I have a little bit more detail to figure out what I'm doing. Um, so I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around for you guys to see that in a bit as I re-sketch that out. But uh, I have already went through with a chef jacket that she brought that she likes the fit of. And I am going to decon... I've already seen ripped... The whole pieces and everything. The pieces and all that stuff. Um, so that I can use this as a starter base for my jacket. The jacket I will be creating her. And this is another undertaking. Um, I'm very excited about. But I'm also very nervous about. You know, it's a new thing. It's, it is women's clothing. I do women's clothing. I do upcycle and, you know, deconstruction, but for somebody else. And that's always the scary part when it's for somebody else. So I'm about to get into it. I'm about to turn you guys around um, so I can start. I got an ibuprofen just sitting on my table. Oh, I like a, a, a drug. So I can turn you guys around so I can start. Um, to fine tuning up my my sketch so that I'm visually seeing what I need to see, what the end goal is. Because uh, the first one is rough, it's good, but it's just it's rough. So let me move this all out of the way. I'm gonna be using my oh I left my pins upstairs. I got some down here. I'm gonna be using this beautiful sketchbook that I picked up from Target. You can see I'm a tan a little bit, like you can really see it in my mind. I can't see it, but I'm tan. Ooh. So yes, um, I got my sketch, and so I'm about to. sketch um it's actually kind of like the next day but i finished this sketch just so i can see how it looks um and it's slightly different 
from what I've done, but I know what I am aiming for. So let me break this down. My client is, like I said, a chef. Um, and she's heavy into fashion, like the girl can dress. And so she wanted to blend those two worlds together. So some of the re- or some of the inspiration stuff seeing me has this military-esque style. So I really linked into it. And I created like this, she um this asymmetrical overlay front. Like I said, very military um, um, influenced. She wanted like a peplum, and I didn't, and I thought I would love to see a peplum done in a more a, a non traditional way. So that's why we have the extending of this overlay front where it would flare out like this, and then you have a little slightly underskirt that would be shorter. Um, she's good with like a quarter inch sleeve. There's a pocket that needs to go here so she can have her pen and her pedometer thermometer she wants a bit of embroidery so we can embroider the jacket with her name and the main one of the secondary focal pieces focal pieces of this jacket is the back she really really wanted a cut out in the back she wanted to show a bit of skin she wanted to have some movability and some breathability so that played not only in the fabric that we chose but mainly in the design and the cut of the jacket so i went in here and i played around with like some overlays and some wrapping and some cutouts so what you see here is a panel that is going to be coming like from the sleeve and the shoulder that's going to overlay on top of this panel that comes from behind and these two panels that come up from here this way and poke out that way um giving it like a two-part um poke peekaboo poke out and then we have the the mesh uh, under layer that's going to be like a shirt that kind of sits up in here. Um, so it the whole back will be in this shirt. Uh, so I have to make sure that I cut the shirt, the shape of the back, so that it can just all just lay over it. So the fabric we're going to be working with is this beautiful black um, broadcloth fabric that is very breathable, durable, um, but it has a nice heavy weight to it but it's also breathable and then i have this i think this is like a nylon mesh cutout in black she really wanted it to be black and we're going to be working with gold accents so that's where i have like this piping that's going to come in and this gold that i need to order as well as i have i have some buttons we had a grand time at the fabric store picking out buttons so I have these beautiful buttons here. That's going to be the buttons that go down the front of the jacket. I do need to find um, or decide what trim I'm going to use for these little um, the plaques that's going to go here. If I'm going to use the same gold um, bias tape that I'm ordering. And then I have these appliques that are going to be the little epaulets on the show and I need to decide how I am also going to build these out can I help you so this is what I'm working with I also make sure I need to grab a separating zipper <sighs> my separating zipper I'm going to use this one. I was saving that for something, but um, that's fine. Okay. So, we have the fronts, the two fronts, and they're facing. So, that's this front and that front, and they're facing. And I am going to have to uh, create another piece that comes out so that the zipper can have something to attach to but yeah um then for the back the back the back the back the back is in three pieces it's super fun to create i didn't get that on camera because i was just working so we have the front first piece i've, I've numbered them we have the first piece, the second piece, and then we have 
fall off. Piece one, piece two, and these will be cut twice because they all need a um, facing to them. Because I don't want to do a piping detail. I kind of want this to just be, um, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? A nice clean edge. I don't want to do a piping and I don't want to do a rollover. I want it to be a nice flat clean edge. And then we have piece number three, which will be cut twice. Well, four times as well. Because, oh wait, it's upside down. Because, it is, so if you guys can see it. So it's going to be a nice cute little cutout. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I am going to reconfigure my space here i do need to cut out um a collar piece a cut uh, a cuff piece and um the pocket piece but i may just copy that from the uh jacket that i that i deconstructed um, so I'm going to get myself settled. I'm going to move some stuff around on my table so I have more working space. And then I'm going to start cutting this from some, uh, cutting up the mock-up. I need to find some sheets to cut these pieces from so that I can have a mock-up for her to try this weekend. Okay, stylers. It is hours later. Hours later. Um, I have cut all of the pieces that I am going to be needing to create a mock-up. Um, I know some people will create a mock-up full out. I don't do full out. I don't do full out. I do half. <laughs> Sometimes, especially if I'm doing like a jacket or a shirt, I literally don't even cut out two sleeves. I only cut out one sleeve because I don't even need to make sure, you know, the sleeve fit on one arm, you know. Um... But I did a little bit more with this because there are so many separate pieces. So I did two sleeves. So I have a sleeve. I need to go in and make all my markings, but I have a sleeve. I have back piece number one. Uh, back panel. Oh. Oh, wait, no. I was going to say, oh, no. No, that's his face. Back panel number two. Yeah. Back panel number three. Front panel number one. Wait, no. Front panel number two. Let me, let me write that down. And then front panel number one with, I did the collar. And I am going to go through and make like an official pattern piece for this collar. But for right now, I just use to trace the pre-existing collar. So I'm going to assemble these. That's going to be interesting because I created a puzzle. Now I have to put the puzzle together. <laughs> I'm going to try to make sure I, like, you know, I do markings and everything on my pattern pieces so that, you know. Like, 
stuff like this. I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, stand by. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so going through and adding markings. So like these are these are the two front pieces, right? And I know they're gonna match up at the armhole, but they're not gonna so much match up at the shoulder, at the shoulder seam, because of how high one of the pieces are. But I do wanna make sure that I am marking what is what. So, I'm gonna be here because I've already went through and put a V on my sleeve piece. So, this is the front, this is the back. Now my shoulder, my my shoulder has been extended one, as well as my sleeve has been spreaded, so that is I have a little bit more puff to it. I may decide to keep it the way. I may change it depends on how it looks once I sew up the mock up. So I wanted to make sure that I am matching my notches if I can find some matching tape. Um. Crap. Lord in in the heavens. I really need to replace this. Um so that's about five inches in. I wanna give it half that. So about two and a half, eight, two and a half. So right here. This is going to be gathered down. Now, again, guys, um, don't know if that's accurate. If that's how it's supposed to be done. I don't know if that's just how it's supposed to be done, but that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> so... With my markers. Why my markers ain't markering? And so that's that. I do need to make some notches on these pieces so I know how they line up. Because especially since this piece is going to be um this front piece. One of them is going to be laid all the is going to halfway across the body. The other one is going to be folded over on this line. That's why this line is here to create the placket. So I need to mark that on the pattern piece once I figure out how I'm assembling this. And then um, I need to do the same thing with the marking on the back pieces. It's guesswork. I am figuring this out as I go. I promise y'all. I promise you guys. I am figuring this out as I go. Um, and so I I think this is how it's done. I don't know. This is gonna work for me. Switch tabs. I need to put two because I got two. I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm put another one right here. And then the same thing with this one. So when I go through and I'm cutting this, I know what I'm doing. So yeah. I don't I don't know. I don't know guys. Dip dip dip. Okay. And now you're gonna splash it on the canvas. You ready? Go. Come closer. Get a little closer. Now splash. Yeah, very good. 
Careful, dipping Charlotte, there you go. Now splash it on the canvas. Come over here, big splash. Oh yes, that looks amazing. One more time, Charlotte. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, she got it all fake, that's good. Dollars. It is now um, a few days later, it may be even a week later, since I last popped in here. Several things have happened um, in life, <laughs> but uh, most importantly, I am in the assembly stage oh, Jesus, of this jacket, and we are less than a week away from its deadline due date so i have all the pieces cut out well not all the pieces majority of the pieces cut out um i said i'm gonna start sewing this stuff up like this is this is one of the um yeah this is one of the front pieces this is going to be where the zipper goes. And so I got to attach the facing because we want everything to look nice and clean. Um, nice, clean edges. I do need to still order <sighs> the bias tape for the piping. Oh! I still need to order it. And then I need to go through my own little stash of like stuff to figure out all of the embellishments and the couture marks that's going to go on this highly we're not gonna say i ain't gonna say highly but like the decorative part of this military s jacket so yeah i'm about to start doing that and i'm very excited to get to this point it, it, it took me too long to get to this point i wanted to be at this point last week I'm not gonna lie i wanted to be at this point last week but Life was like this. most of the pieces together um as far as like their counterparts and now i have to do all of the trimming the seams and pressing so that we can get to the interesting part which is actually assembling these this puzzle this um this creation that i created and
right sides together and the shoulder. Oh, somebody. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And in the words of Rachel Mac, uh, Mackey, I don't know what I'm doing. This is fun. I'm having fun. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having fun. So I'm sitting here sewing. And my seam keeps and my thread keeps snapping. I was like, oh my God, what is happening now? I got cleaned it out. What is going on? I had that problem earlier. And when I took out my fabric to like figure out what was going on, I noticed that I, my thread had ran a bobbin. And I was trying to sew it without bobbin thread. And that's why it kept snapping. Yep. But that's it. <laughs> so clearly it's time for a break okay uh but i have a vest <laughs> it is somewhat completed we have the front and the back together at the shoulder seams and arm seams yes i do wish i would have just saved time stitching I didn't stitch all the way around. Like I left the armholes open. Like that let the where the curve where the armhole arm socket was gonna go. I left that open thinking like that's gonna be a lot of fabric to sew. And then plus I need the area to like turn it right side out. I wish I would have done that for like the shoulder seams and the side seams of the the pieces of the you know the little overlaid pieces because it's a lot of fabric to sew. It she is thick, so I am gonna go through once everything is finished. Once it's fitted on her, once I fit it on her, once it, once I know how everything is gonna sit and how everything's gonna look before I finish her, I am going to cut into those seams to loosen up the bulk because then it it add bulk inside, and I still have to add in the mesh lining of the back as well as the front fold over part i still have to add that in hello stylers so it's a few days later um i have fitted my garments on my clients and right now I'm about to make the, the adjustments. So I have the mock-up to work from as well as fitting the actual garment on her. And as I predicted things, it was a bit too big. And the arms and the sides, which is perfect because that's a quick fix as in slimming things down. I gave myself room to put in a zipper um and then I, it's just about me um fixing out the collar the collar was a bit too short as well as the flap the fold over diagonal part is a bit too high so that's stuff that i'm gonna work out but right now i'm about to get into this the side profiles and the arms nice long uh, piece um, of the double layer so cut it twice make it you know two-sided of that satin because I don't want the underside I want the satin on both sides anywho do that nice stiff pleat 
and add that where I cropped it and cut it on the side and that'll be the pleat that will go and disappear under the diagonal part here and that'll be a nice added contrast of texture into this all black look so I'm gonna cut me a look oh I like that that I like yeah just give it a little bit more texture because the netting is not going to be seen from the front. It's going to be seen from the back. And from the front, it's just going to be all black with the buttons and the trims. And I can even probably even make it, the, oh, I can make the pot, the pocket out of satin as well. Oh, that's going to be nice. Pocket can be satin as well. So the collar, satin collar. with interfacing and then the peplum pleating out of satin. That, that's gonna be real nice. That's gonna be real nice. Ah! Get excited! All right, scholars, I am sitting down to finally sew. I've um, cut my collar, pockets, and the part that's gonna become my pleat, pleat a little peplum. I have made the alterations. I know it looked like I was cutting into that thing fearlessly, but mm, I was freaking out. Um, and um oh i ironed my interfacing as well as i pinned where the pocket is going to go on the sleeve while the sleeve is open so that's like one less thing hopefully it's on the right hopefully it's positioned right and she didn't tell me which side she wanted on so hopefully I 
as much as I love handwriting and journaling and planning, you would think I know how to write better. You would think that I've learned that already. Sadly, I have not. Hello, stylers. It is Wednesday. And it is hopefully, frankly, the final day of this sewing block. So, this is where we are. I have a to-do list. We are technically over halfway there. I give us about 75%. So today I need to shorten the collar. The collar is a bit too high. So I'm going to shorten it probably like a half an inch. Uh, then I need to reattach that collar. But before I do that, I want to sew on the bias tape. I have all of my accoutrements here. Mom picked them up from Joanne's. So I have my bias tape. I have some rope, some trim. I have my zipper. I pulled out all of my gold thread. So I need to figure out which one matches perfectly. And then I have a bunch of chains and buttons and beads and stuff that I want to add on. And so to-do list, shorten, shorten collar, reattach collar, attach um, bias tape, insert zipper, hem, um, jacket, iron the satin panel, pleat the satin panel, and then sew that on. Hem and cuff the sleeves, and then I sew on my snaps and my buttons, and then to like the, the decorating part. And I have a meeting today at 1.30, and then I want to be done with this by 4 or 5 o'clock because there is some other stuff that I need to do today, some content I want to film. I have to style some looks for this event, um, and then... Uh, pack up for that because tomorrow I will be at the house all day, have a doctor's appointment, have a nails appointment. Then I have to go to the event to set up and have a meeting. And then I want to have one final fitting on my client just to see how everything looks and fits and lays so that if I need to bring it back with me Thursday night, I'm able to work on it Thursday night before the day of the day, Friday. 